Greetings, greetings. All the Ableton Live users, the people that just started using Ableton Live, you know, um, you can make your own drum racks, in case you didn't know, or drum banks, you know, with your kits, you know, you put them in any, on any pad or key or whatever you want, and this is how you do it, right? So, we're gonna go to um, the instruments. On the left side right here, we go to instruments, and then you got all the other instruments, you know what I'm saying? And then you got the drum rack right here. So then we have a MIDI, MIDI track right here. So you just drop it, drag and drop the drum rack, right? So it opens up as, as it's blank. It's blank right here and C1 is the first note on a keyboard or C, you know, on, or the first bottom left on, on drum pad. So now you just search for like samples it could be samples from right here that's already in ableton or it could just be from your own your own actual um folders so i had my own folders that i added on right here this is where you add folder and you can add the folder of wherever your samples and your drum kits are you know what i'm saying and or your drum sounds and then so i have some samples right here right so this is why I created, I sampled this from a Motif keyboard like 15 years ago. And so, so we got a kick sound right here. So I could just drag that from, from this window right here. And I drag it right to C1. So now this little button right here, that's the play button. And then you can just hit it with the mouse or if you have a, um, MIDI um, controller connector, you can hit it right there from there and then you could hear it. So then from the, so on, then you could just grab a, a snare on C um, sharp or flat one, or you could just put it on D1. So now we got the kick and the snare, and then you could just start building from there. Now I put a clap, clap one. A C1 sharp, and then a D1. I'll put a click. All right. Or you could actually um treat them as one shots or a classic where it just, if it's a loop, you could actually drop the loops in there too, also. And then the loop will just keep going from the classic, but. Since we're dealing with drum kits, um, it'll be one shot, you know, or you could just have a sample in there and then you could just slice right here. So, so we just keep going. I hats, percussion. Yeah, but you could put them anywhere that you want. Rewind sound, scratch, shakes. All right, so, but the good thing is like this bottom left right here shows you grids that you could probably fit about, yeah, at least like you could fit multiple drums, um, drum sounds all, all, all the way up a 88 key keyboard or, you know, if you have a push or Novation launch pad, you could use that too. You could have like about six, six drum kits in there. Okay. So now we're done or this is where I'm going to stop. And from there, you just save. So you can save the drum rack and there's a little, there's a refresh button right here, but then there's a save, a little tiny save on um, folder save. So you hit that, it creates a, it instantly creates another um, file called drum rack inside the drum rack folders. So the drum rack folders, like from there, you could, I could actually uh, rename this and just be like, um, Hip hop, hip hop fire. 
and then it goes in it goes in as hip hop fire so every time you need to use it you can just drag drag it from the actual um the folders so and how you get there you would have to go to um user library when you scroll down from being up here go to your user library and then you go to the presets then instruments and then drum rack and then the folders pop up and then there goes hip hop fire kit right there that i made so if you find this video useful then you know comment like and you know subscribe if you want and sign off and stay in the real productions peace